0% skill and 100% luck moments in soccer. Please double check that you are subscribed to my channel and let's begin. Oh, she's coming in hot. Oh, here she goes. Oops. Yes. That is exactly what she meant to do. <laughs> she's crying because she's embarrassed. Okay. Anybody who gets hit in the face cries because they're embarrassed more because that hurts more than it does getting hit <laughs> everybody else is celebrating <laughs> oh she took it way too seriously when they said put your head in the game i'm sorry i had to say it zero percent skill a hundred percent luck It bounced off of the back of his foot! Can he finish here? Where two kicks go? Did eventually come back and two kicks finish his offense. Can say on the right hand side. I said, oh shit! The keeper played the key part there. It does make this. It was from that moment everybody started to call him an athletic genius, and then he believed it, and then he became one. They're like, wow, that was so incredible. How did you do that move? Well, we've never seen anything like that. It happens. <laughs> so, some people are just lucky in life. In life in general. How does this happen? <laughs> no. That's like that game where they have that little metal piece and you have to hit it with the stick and make the ball go through. That was crazy. That was crazy. You can't play on this kind of stuff. You can't make this up. That was just wild. Literally. I I don't know what to say. See the game by us off. And it came out to Conte! And Chelsea level it up! Ungolo Conte! Somebody needs to tell these soccer people to keep their legs closed. <laughs> if just one of them was in a little bit of a different stance. Maybe, but the problem is, is if you stand with your legs together, you're more likely to fall over. So of course they want to have a stance where they're able to move quickly. But I mean, the ball is going through so many people's legs. It's like, okay, maybe somebody should stand a little bit different every once in a while to kind of mix it up. First of all, thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> what? I mean, that's just so crazy that they can get the ball past so many people. Calling ball. It's nicely done. It got away from Gallagher. Hit it with a left foot. Oh! Oh my goodness, he's got the strangest of goals, and he cannot believe it. He looked away, Stan Collymore. He oh man. <laughs> the goalie was like, wait, what happened? Where did it go? Best of punches, though. Something Albay and into the back of the net. Extraordinary. Oh! How does that happen? <laughs> like, those poles are so thin, it's just weird that they would hit it against it so many times, isn't it? It's almost like they see the last person hitting it into the pole and so somehow that makes them more likely to do so. It's so weird. <laughs> the goalie didn't just fall back with his legs flowing, floundering, flowing? What's that word? With his legs flopping? Not flopping, what is that word? Comment the word if you know what I'm talking about. Laundry? Deviates the ball. <laughs> no! Wait! 
are you telling me that Messi literally just made, forced another team opponent to score them a goal? That was just crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that allowed wait it didn't seem like it was allowed <laughs> he just acted so casual about it this guy is so devious are playing with the wind or something how do you do that nope. jeez he was even surprised by that he even looked at his own hand thinking is this really happening right now did i really just like stop the ball like what Okay, okay, hits the one inch pull from the flag. <laughs> what? And keeps the ball in bounds too. Wow. Wow, wow. That's the great thing about teamwork is like you have to be prepared. He was there just in case and it ended up being the case, you know? Nice work. <laughs> His face? He's like, oh! <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> Oh Man, that was a really long jump. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's your biggest problem. Celebrating while you're playing. Wait, can somebody explain to me what that goalie was doing way old yonder? Way over yonder, please? What were you doing? Talking to your mom from the sidelines or something? Why Why did you venture so far away? Even if you thought that they scored, you should still be ready for the play, right? SMH. I'm shaking my head at that dude. Twisting, turning. That's a penalty, is it? No, he's still going! No! How about that? He, he's like a, a bug that pretends to be dead. He's like playing dead. They knock him down. He's like, oh, I'm down. Nope, I'm keeping going. And he did that like five times. So everybody who knocked him down was like, okay, we're done here. And then he just kept going, you know? That's that's power. That's determination, you know? That's positive expectancy. How about that? <laughs> he just casually pushes his leg off. And then he goes and pushes the next leg off. At this point, they literally look like that foosball where you spin the players and you just, they just, the ball just bounces off of them. <laughs> wow.
That was really cool. <laughs> I mean, it's bad because it makes it look like the other team helped in making the goal for the their competition. actually gave him the goal. I mean, some of this stuff, it seems like luck, but when you train as much as they do, it's, they, they did it on purpose, you know? Like, he was ready. He was there. around like where did it go but I mean he still ducked and kind of directed the ball in wow that guy has a very talented shoulder no 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 not only did it bounce off of the three of them but it bopped him in the head like little buddy foo-foos <laughs> <laughs> The sound, the boing boing boing, that was awesome. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh, that just makes me feel sad. I feel bad for that goalie. Hey, it still counts, right? <laughs> Some of these things, they just can't be explained. You don't really understand why they work. But when people want to make a goal, somehow they make it. And uh, that's the reason why when these people are so determined, somehow they end up making a goal. Even if it bounced off the other team's head, it still goes into their goal. And it's just crazy that they're able to accomplish something and they know what they want to accomplish. And even though their efforts aren't exactly in line with what they're supposed to be doing, somehow they were still able to get the result that they wanted. And that's the thing that kind of just blows my mind about this. It's so much fun to watch. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you can get recommended more content like this. I'm starting to become a really big soccer fan, which is weird because I never expected that. I always thought, you know, soccer is for other people. Other people like watching soccer. I just don't know if I can totally get into it, but it's so entertaining to watch just these goals. They're just spectacular thank you for being here double check that you're subscribed and if you're already subscribed i invite you to subscribe to my newsletter by going to angelarose.biz and it, i'll just ask you for your name and your email so you'll be able to get email updates from me as well thank you for being here and i'll see you guys next time bye